Provenance. Noun. The place where something originally comes from. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Provenance. And if you've been watching all the way up until this point, thank you very much. I know this isn't your kind of typical YouTube channel or show where there's lots of shouting into the camera and I'm telling you to subscribe and press a bell and things like that. So, thank you. Today, I, I wanted to talk about this. lines Chantel Martin lines and this is actually my first ever art book I think the fancy word for it is a monograph or a monograph something like that but I released this book it's coming up to the one year anniversary I released this book in end of February beginning of March in the end it didn't really have an official release date because of the pandemic and it turned out to be the worst time to release a book. So end of February, beginning of March 2020, as we know, was the beginning of the pandemic. And it was also the time that my book, first ever art book was releasing. And I was gonna go to London, to Central St. Martins, my old art school, to do a launch there. And then I had US launches here that were canceled. So. Those didn't happen, but I thought it'd be, because it's coming up to one year anniversary, I thought it'd be a really good time to start to look at this. So firstly, Chantal Martin Lines. We have the logo type that was designed by Anton and Hélène back in 2017. And so they did the rebranding for my website and logo and identity and all things like that so that was a really fun exercise in 2017 so it was really nice to put that to use with regards to the book you know this is my first art book like i said so i didn't really know what the process was but what i did first is i researched a lot of books i went to bookshops and i looked at all the books on the shelf and i kind of liked this size as an art book you know, it felt like it was big and substantial, but it wasn't over the top. But I also wanted it to stand out, so I, I made it horizontal. So, you know, if you put this now on your bookshelf, it's probably going to stand out a little bit. It's going to be that annoying book that, that stands out and you're going to see my name there. So, so first thing was thinking about the shape of the book, the orientation of it. And then it was about how many pages it will be, how thick it would be. And I worked with, actually I should say, there's another name on the bottom here. It says Henny. So Henny is a UK book publisher, a UK independent book publisher. And they do books uh, like Gerhard Richter, Damien Hurst, Iggy Pop, Lucy Liu, Gilbert and George. So a huge spectrum of, of very arty books. And so, Henny published this. Their designer, Sylvia, helped me work with the cover. And at some point we'll get up and close and we'll look at this cover. But it's, it's printed in Italy. And you know, you have this drawing which is almost like embossed into this. And so we'll get close and we'll, we'll look at that in a, in a second. It has an essay by Catherine Stout, who at the time was a deputy director of the ICA in London. I never remember what ICA stands for. International Centre of Art, maybe. I'll, I'll look to see if I'm wrong. So Catherine Stout wrote the essay and she has a lot of experience about drawing and lines and how artists approach that. So that was really amazing to have Catherine do the essay. And then there's an interview, which is a bunch of these pink pages. And the interview is by Hans Urs Ulrich. 
I never remember his, like, the pronunciation of his name, so I just call him Hans, or Hans OU. We have um, a really cool interview here, and for each of the questions, I did a little illustration. So it's kind of like an illustrated interview. So as I open this up, pretty much the first pictures or the first pages are photographs by Connie Sang, who's a Toronto-based photographer, capturing a 200-foot wall that I drew in Buffalo as a, in conjunction with my solo museum show there. So I, I did a, a big fancy museum show and then at the same time I did a, a public art mural in um, East Delaware, which is an area in, in Buffalo. And so that was an interesting project because it was a 200 foot wall, which I believe I drew in just one weekend. Um, we open it up and, you know, we've got all of the, the publishing information. We've got that logo type designed by Anton and Hélène, and we carry that theme across in that font, you know, throughout the book. And so I'm not going to flick through kind of every single page and talk about all of the moments, but I'll tell you a little bit about how we kind of divided it up. So it starts off with that interview with Catherine Stout. And the interview makes references and uh, I guess what do you call it, connections with, with other people's work. Got a picture of me. I've never smoked, but I used to like putting cigarettes in my mouth for some reason. For the, yeah, I thought it was a tough look. You know, I wanted to look tough when I was younger, so I used to put cigarettes in my mouth and not smoke them. Um, got some cute little pictures of when I'm younger. Um, here's a picture here of me here with Kendrick Lamar, where Kendrick was making me beats and I was drawing, and then that drawing would inspire his beats. So we're talking here in this essay that Catherine wrote about kind of the process and the rules and the, the way that I approach drawing. This is, uh, here is an image of a collaboration with Zach Lieberman, who's been a longtime friend and collaborator of mine. And here we touch on collaboration with Kelly Wurstler. So I'm guessing, you know, we're talking a little bit about the, you know, the process and the relationship with collaboration there. Uh, just to jump forward, then we, we jump into some earlier work. And it's funny, actually, I think we've discussed a lot of these in our past provenance episodes. So we've definitely covered Dear Grandmother, collaboration I did with Dot Martin, who's my gran. And we collaborated for, you know, many, many years writing letters to each other. But you can read more about that or learn more about that in our provenance episode about that. We, in this earlier section, look at some of my earlier drawing, that more detailed drawing that I used to create in Japan with a fine line. So we have some of that. Drawn on sweaters. So we've also covered this in an earlier provenance episode of hand drawing on sweaters that you could then use as art or to, to enjoy. Studio works. So this is looking a little bit at my studio. This was my studio at 368 Broadway back in, um, in Manhattan, where I was for, for many years. And Studio Works. People or friends have often talked about my work being in, in different periods in the sense that in Japan, I was working with very fine line and then coming to America, the line started to get thicker to use this medium size. And then the line started to get even thicker so that those light light those line periods so we flick through here some process shots some sculpture some drawing and a lot of these drawings are actually captured by photographer um, Theo Columbum who is a is a long-term collaborator of mine so walls are a huge part of my artistic endeavor you could say so we have, you know, all different walls that I've drawn on from Sarangina, the pizza restaurant in bed just where I used to live down the road, to, you remember this one, to drawing on the chapel on Governor's Island for outside the exterior of the May Room, 
to Toronto, back to Buffalo. So there's a whole section talking about kind of the walls and the exteriors that I've enjoyed drawing on. Battershoe Museum in Toronto. Actually, they have a pair of my shoes in their collection. Here they are. These pictures, actually, these photographs are also captured by Connie Sang. Things, I've, I've drawn on lots of things, from bikes to designing textiles to collaborations with Kelly to, you know, my Puma collection shot in Thamesmead, <laughs> collaborations with Max Mara. And then the last section is interactive. So it's looking at some of my past works from living in Japan to collaborations with people like Jonathan Bobro when I was at MIT at the Media Lab. And so you can see there's a nice variety of projects that we've you know, also discussed before. And this is the Leave It Behind project that was done in Vegas. Some light drawings, my project on the road where I did a road trip across America in 2017. And then it ends on this beautiful double page photo by Theo, which was taken in Utah. So this is Lines. If you don't have a copy, you should go get one. Um, Mark, I don't think you have a copy, right? So I'm going to sign a copy for you. Let's do this. Okay, so when I'm signing a book, um, I like to also just do a little bit of a drawing to, to make it original. And then, uh, here you go. Mark, enjoy life. I'm do a little face here. little stick figure here. Put the year so we remember what year we're in. I don't know about you, but I keep writing 2020 when it's 2021. Okay, there you go. So here's your copy of Lines, Mark. So that's Chantal Martin Lines. If you don't have a copy, it's easy to find. I'll put a link downstairs too.